places where one day we might encounter alien life. So how long before we find the answer to the question we all really want answered? Is there anybody out there? Look at the stars. Each of them is a sun like ours. And our sun has planet Earth. Could this really be the only planet anywhere that's full of life? To find out, we must leave our own world behind. Let's travel further. Beyond our sun and out into space. There's Mars, cold and inhospitable. Next is Jupiter, a vast and lifeless ball of gas. Then another gas giant, Saturn. Then Uranus, Neptune and on. All the other planets of our solar system are barren worlds devoid of life. But beyond our solar system are the stars. And remember, each of these is another sun. 400,000 million of them in a vast swirling cloud. The Milky Way. Our galaxy. And when you leave our galaxy behind, you begin to realize just how vast the universe is. Because each of these is a galaxy just like ours. And these are clouds of galaxies. In all this, is it really possible that the only planet with intelligent life is this one? It's all a question of numbers. If there are enough stars out there, the chances that alien life exists could be very good indeed. It's hard to comprehend just how many stars there are. Each of those points of light is a whole galaxy, billions of stars in every pinprick of light. Look at a handful of sand. How many grains do you think? Thousands? Hundreds of thousands? How many grains on a whole beach? The numbers are just too big to think about. Well, think about this. For every grain of sand on our entire planet, there are a million stars out there in space. A million stars, just like our sun, for every grain of sand, and where there are stars, there may be planets, and where there are planets, there may be life. It's happened here. So where is everybody else? If there are intelligent beings up there trying to contact us, then their messages will be picked up here, probably before anywhere else on Earth. But to hear the voices of the planets, you need a big ear. And this is the biggest ear on Earth. For the last 35 years, scientists have been working on a project to settle the question of whether we're alone. Their mission, to scan every star in the sky for signs of alien life. It's called SETI the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. And they're still doing it today. CQ 20 meters, this is N6, Uncle Donald Kilowatt calling and standing by. Seth Shostak is a SETI astronomer. His job is to listen out for ET on the radio. Radio cuts right through the gas and dust that hangs between the stars. 
radio is an easy communication medium for us to use, for them to use. So no matter what else the aliens might be doing, we figure they're probably using a lot of radio. It really just comes down to this. You know, there's so much cosmic real estate. There's such an incredible number of stars that it's hard to believe that this is the only bit of real estate in the entire cosmos that happens to be populated by beings that are capable of developing, for example, radio technology. After the first decade of searching, SETI had nothing to show. Then, in 1977, that changed. A SETI computer detected exactly what they'd been looking for. A powerful radio beam from another star. Could it have been a signal from an alien race? We may never know. By the time they were able to train more instruments on it, the signal had vanished. It remains unexplained. One sniff of success in 35 years of searching might be enough to put you off. But Seth Shostak is undaunted. If we do this for 100 years and we don't find a signal, I, I, I would be non plus. I'm also going to be dead. But I mean, I, that would truly surprise me. So I think that this. In some ways, this experiment is almost guaranteed to succeed. But despite Seth's optimism, finding extraterrestrials could take some time. There are just too many stars for us to search. The problem is, our galaxy is truly immense. This is us just here. That star is the sun. And this is the area we've searched so far for alien signals. Not bad, until you see just how many stars there are to search. With so many stars out there, finding extraterrestrial beings might seem like a daunting task, but the search may not be in vain. We've started to find the places where they could live. Hawaii. Far above the clouds of Big Island sits the largest telescope in the world. Scientists come here to search for something that until recently they believed was impossible. Evidence of planets circling around distant stars. What object would you like to go to next, guys? Uh, we'll continue stepping down 9331. All right, lining up on slit. We are ready for exposure. And shooting. At first glance, their task seems hopeless. Finding a planet around another star is the equivalent of detecting a single grain of sand on the moon. But there's a trick to it. Don't even look for the planet.